Hey everybody, it's Brett here with the Tuning School, and on this Tech Tuesday, I'm going to be showing you how to do a segment swap on a GM vehicle using HP tuners. Now, as you guys may have noticed, this isn't exactly a GM vehicle. However, we just got this back from our friends at Current Performance Wiring. This is actually our latest project that we're working on at the Tuning School. So our friends at Current Performance Wiring went ahead and stabbed in this LS1 and a 4L60 into this 1995 BMW 750i L. Now they fabbed up all the motor mounts and the transmission mounts so we could pretty much go into work on making this thing run. Now it currently has a 4L60 in it but we plan on actually making some pretty big power numbers with this thing so we're considering moving to a 4L80. Now that is a really common segment swap so let's go ahead and talk about what all has to be done in order to make that happen. So the first thing that we need to do is we actually need to be able to get this 4L60 out of the car and once that happens we can actually stab the 4L80 into it. At that point we're actually going to need some wiring harness modification so the GM computer can actually control the 4L80. Thankfully that's what our friends at Current Performance Wiring actually specialize in so we're going to go ahead and let them handle that for us. But once that's all taken care of we'll need to move over to the HP Tuner software so we can perform a segment swap to actually make our factory GM computer control the new 4L80. So now we're going to focus on how to actually make this happen with the software, but before we get started, there's something that you guys should know. You should always try and use a segment swap as a last resort kind of effort. The reason for that is sometimes the segment swaps can be finicky, they can do weird things to the way the car is going to act, as well as they're not always going to work depending on which files you have, which car you're starting with, which car you're trying to use to do the segment swap. So it can be kind of hit or miss, but there is some instances where it's going to work really well for you. So we're going to go ahead and show you how to do it. But just so you know, you should always strive to just have the right control modules in the car to do exactly what you want to do without having to do this segment swap. That being said, let's jump right into this. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to get a stock tune file so we can actually carry over the 4L80 settings from it into this vehicle here. So we're going to go to the internet and we're going to go to hbtuners.com. Now when you're logged into your customer center, you actually have the option at the top of the screen up here for the tune repository. This is a repository full of all the stock tune files that pretty much anybody can upload here anytime they download a stock tune file. So we're going to click on tune repository. And now that we're here, we're going to select the year, make and model of the vehicle we're looking to find 4L80 settings for. Now, the computer that's controlling this LS1 currently is out of a 2000 Camaro. So we're going to find a 2000 Silverado file from the same year because the 4L80s come in the Silverado HDs, like the 6 liters and things like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to select the year. We're going to go to 2000. For the make, we're obviously going to select uh, Chevrolet. We're going to go to Silverado down here. And we're going to select 6 liter for the engine type because that's going to guarantee we get all of the HD trucks. So we're going to go down here, 6 liter V8. For transmission, we'll select automatic. We'll click search repository. So now you see this first one at the top here. It's a 2000 with a 6 liter. It's an LQ4 and it's got a 4L80E transmission. All right, and it's a stock tune file. So we're going to go ahead and download this one to do our segment swap. So we'll click download this tune file. HP Tuners gives you a heads up saying, hey, we don't verify that these things are actually stock. That's on you. Not a big deal. We'll just go ahead and click OK. So now that we've got that downloaded, we're actually going to go ahead and open it up. And the reason we're going to open it up is because we want to verify that it actually has a 4L80 in it. So we're going to go ahead and click on the file right here. And it's going to open HP Tuners for us. Now, the first thing we're going to do to figure out if this is actually a 4L80 is we're going to go to Trans. And we're going to go to General. You see under trans types, we've got 4L80E, which is perfect. That's going to work great for our segment swap. So now that we know that, we can go ahead and close this HP Tuners. We'll go back to our other HP Tuners file right here, and we're going to open the stock file for this vehicle. So we're going to open the 2000 Camaro file, which is located right here in my desktop. So now that we've got our Camaro file open, we have to actually go open that 2000 Silverado file that we just downloaded. We're going to open it through the compare feature. So we're going to go up to the top of the screen and click on compare and we're going to select open compare file. Now let's go to the downloads folder here 
and we're going to select the latest file that we downloaded because that would be the 2000 file. So now that we've got that open, you see it says 2000 Camaro up here versus the downloads file we just got. So now that we've got that taken care of, we're going to go to compare and we're going to go to the very bottom of the drop down menu where it says segment swapper. Click on segment swapper and it's going to bring up the segment swapper pop up box. Now, this is where we're going to select which modules we want to carry over. So what settings in the 2000 Silverado file do we want to carry over to the 2000 Camaro file? So with what we're doing today, with changing from a 4L80 or from a 4L60 to a 4L80, we want just the transmission settings. So we're going to click the box for a transmission. Once we've got the box highlighted, we can select import selected segments. Now at this point, we can go ahead and close the segment swapper pop-up box. Once we do that, it's going to make us save the file. Once the file is saved, it's going to automatically close it and you'll have to go open it again. And when you open it, all the settings from the 4L80 will have carried over to the 2000 Camaro file and there will be no more 4L60 settings. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and that you're able to learn something from it so you can do your own segment swap at home. If you're interested in seeing what we're doing with this BMW project, make sure that you stay glued to our social media pages as well as pay attention to the upcoming events we're going to because this car plans on being there. I will say it should be a lot of fun because we plan on making some pretty big power with this thing and maybe even hurting a few feelings. If you guys are interested in more high performance tuning knowledge, make sure you check out our website, thetuningschool.com and as always, stay tuned. If y'all enjoyed this video, make sure that you hit the subscribe button, check out these other awesome videos, as well as these products and our website.